This is the University of Washington's Math 120 pre-calculus course. We're looking at the eighth question from the winter 2016 final exam. We have a question about some tall towers. This is a kind of triangle analysis trig question. Uh, we have tower A is 100 feet taller than tower B, and the towers are 40 feet apart. We are somewhere in between the two towers, not necessarily at the midpoint. And from where we stand, the top of tower A is 87 degrees above horizontal, and tower B is 83 degrees above horizontal. Uh, and these measurements are from the ground. We're told to ignore our own height in thinking about this problem. And we're asked to come up with the height of tower A. So if you haven't already, go ahead and pause the video and see whether you can make sense of this on your own. I always start questions like this by drawing a picture. Uh, and I'm not super concerned about whether my picture is perfectly to scale, but I'd like to get the details somewhat reasonable. Uh, let's say here's the ground and we have tower A and tower B. I know that tower A is taller than tower B. Uh, and I'm not going to be drawing this relatively to scale. In particular, the distance between the two towers is 40 feet. Um, the difference in heights is 100 feet, but clearly my picture is already out of scale. Um, we're standing somewhere in the middle here. Let me use the variable x to represent the height of tower A. And have I used all of my information? Uh, I've included these angles. I've included the heights. I haven't included anywhere the detail that the towers are 40 feet apart. Um, let me say that we're currently d feet away from the first tower. Then we would be 40 minus d height away from tower b, the second tower. So it looks like I can use tangent to relate x and d both in this triangle and in this triangle. So that is going to give us our system of two equations. We have two unknowns. We'll be able to solve for x and d. So let's go ahead and do this. Our first triangle over here gives us that tangent of 87 is equal to x over d. And our second triangle gives us that tangent of 83 is equal to x minus 100 over 40 minus d. So let me grab a calculator to compute these values of tangent. So I simply need to solve this system of equations. I could simply plug in this equation for x this 19.081d into this and solve for d. Um, I'd kind of like to just go straight to solving for x. So I'm going to notice that d is equal to x over 19.081 and substitute that in. So I'm rewriting my second equation and now I'm replacing d with x over 19.081. Now I can solve for x. Yeah, I kind of like working in terms of the tangents instead of in terms of these um, decimals. In particular, I'm hesitant to work with these decimals as is just because they're kind of annoying. And I'm also hesitant to multiply things out because then I introduce rounding error. Um, so let me just notice that 8.144 is tangent of 83, and this is tangent of 87, uh, and solve for x using these explicitly in terms of tangents. So I've brought the 100 over here. So I factored an x out of both these terms on the right and then divided by that term 1 plus tangent 83 over tangent 87. I now have a solution uh, a little ugly to work with, but just some calculator food. My calculator suggests that x is 298.4 feet, 
um, which seems actually quite reasonable. This seems quite plausible to me. Um, if I had uh, extra time on an exam, I might go forward and actually compute x and d and check out that uh, we do find that these values all agree. Um, but this agrees with my intuition, and I feel comfortable saying that this is a reasonable solution.